Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a monthly reading session for you Capricorn. This is for the month of um, November 2020. This is both love reading and general reading for the sign of Capricorn. This is for the full month of November, okay? In today's reading, I will be channeling and delivering intuitive breathing related to finance, career, travel, and relationship. So relationship energy that I'm going to relay or deliver here, here is relationship with family, colleagues, boss, and of course, relationship with love romantic, okay? So this is for you Capricorn. What is coming towards you for the full month of November for Capricorn, please? relationship in general love in general finances career travel and whatever important energy that um capricorn is meant to know what is the energy what is the opportunity what is the message for capricorn for the month of november 2020 full month of november 2020 for capricorn please okay this is for capricorn what can I get for Capricorn? Let me just check the camera if you can see that. Okay, let's move this here. And as usual, guys, if you would like to further connect with me, check out the description box below. You'll find the details of my Instagram account. Check out my online store, um, the Scent Manifest and, Manifest and Cleanse Collection. It is available. It is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So have a look at it and check out our items, all right? So this is for you, Capricorn. This is full month of November. I'm going to get an overall energy, which is, it jumps out from the deck. So overall energy for you, Capricorn, in love and in general, you've got here um, the Eight of Wands in reverse, um, the Four of Wands in reverse, and you've got Nine of Wands. Wow. <laughs> this is Eight, Eight, and Nine. Okay, so overall energy, it seems to be when it comes to general activity, um, you have a lot of focus Capricorn when it comes to your house, when it comes stores, when it comes to your house or stability. Um, one's is one's um, one's energy. This this speaks about creativity. This speaks about passion towards building something it could be a hobby it could be an actual property it could be involving one or two people because i'm seeing two people in here so i really feel like you really want to escalate or speed up the process of something related to your passion to building something to a project and it's involving one to two people for some of you specifically when it comes to love or relationship okay you've got the nine of wands and the eight of swords um this speaks to me that when it comes to relationship with love interest with friends with family with work colleague it seems to be there is an indecision making or it's something to do with you not being able to decide or proceed because you're waiting for other people's approval okay so that's the relationship overall energy and this is more of um general projects career um finances um so that's the overall energy let's get more details on what's coming towards you for november month so you've got the six of swords in reverse position in here and you've got the four of pentacles in reverse it could be uh there is an energy um there's an energy here capricorn where let's put it here let me just because this is the general and this is the relationship Put it that way. Okay. So I'm um, sorry, this is in reverse position. This is also in reverse position. Okay. So in terms of general, for the first two weeks of um November, Capricorn, I see that there was an opportunity that came back. You have released this opportunity and, and it will come back. And it is related to finances. All right. Um Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Four of Pentacles. There's something that you have given up in the past. It is an opportunity. It is it is something that you were declined or disapprove. Okay, someone, it could be someone disapprove your leave or your travel or your loan. And um, 
it took you for some of you guys it it was um it was very painful to get that rejection or not to be chosen, not to be approved, not to be processed. Something is coming back in in the first two weeks of November for you. It is it is something that was rejected. It was something that was delivered and tell you that you don't qualify, it's not for you, blah blah blah. It will come back. It has given you this 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 opportunity, this person who will approach you, because it could be a person. They, yeah, they have disapproved you. Um, you didn't like the way it was disapproved. You didn't like that you were not chosen. And I felt like it's coming your way again. Um, I see you, in terms of general project, finance, career, I see you having a difficult conversation or a difficult decision making with this opportunity or a person that came back from the past. Um, I feel like the offer... The opportunity this person i felt like you were a second choice or it, it's coming back as forceful okay because you pretty much made up your mind you have pretty much um accepted defeat or move, you have moved on and then for some reason this opportunity this person this situation uh, when it comes back in november time it just create confusion like it's you're no longer interested with it but this person, this situation, this opportunity, it, it keeps budging you, okay? So just be aware that um, that um, if, if you think it's not fair, you need to really work on pushing back or declining. Because at the end of pretty much the mid part of November up until the last week of November, it's really getting into you, this person, this opportunity, this situation. It's make it's it's causing you to be more and more confused. It is causing you sleepless nights, stress and anxiety. Cause this is something that you have accepted that it's not for you, or it could be a situation where because this person, this situation, they have declined you, you've decided to take action and accept another offer. For example, um an insurance. You apply for insurance. And for example, a bank, you have applied for a, a loan from a bank, this bank disapproves you, and now they come back to you with really a good offer, but yet you have already signed paper to another bank. So it is creating confusion to you. And if you accept this, if you allow this to come in, you will break ties with another person, another entity, another team, another project. So this is making you confused. You know, it is creating like if you will accept this person this situation you have to break up or break contract with another um person with another situation that is that is the stress is that the offer is good you know this person this opportunity this message it is good but you have already agreed with someone else some somewhere else or someone else and it is causing you this justice card in reverse and the moon card in reverse because it's not fair. You, I'm not, I was not your, you know, first choice. You declined me, so I move on. I look for another, for example, broker or bank. I got approved. And then you come back to me with a better offer and you want me to accept that and redo all of the work and break my contract with this. So you're, you're kind of feeling like it's not worth it. You need to really push back because it's it's really encouraging you accept me listen to me it's a good offer the the offer is really good but you will have to break one person's trust or break a contract with another bank or with, not, with another entity or with, not, with another team and i think you can do that it's possible but it's such a lot of rework and you're feeling like is it worth like for example if this was a bank loan the the variation for example is that you'll you'll say three percent versus this one so is it worth my stress to break all the ties with this and go to this person or this bank or this entity so you've got that energy in general coming towards you in terms of relationship it could be friendship it could be colleague it could be work it could be love interest okay the second reading you started off with a three of swords okay it could be a third party there could be a third party or a painful situation that you need you need to deal with the first two weeks of um november for you for love relationship 
um, you haven't healed, your person have not healed, um, the people involved in this pain, hurtful betrayal, or for some of you, this could be gossip for some of you, but there is a relationship issue. There is a relationship issue in the past. And for November month, that relationship issue that caused you pain and anxiety, hurt, it's not fully healed. All right. Um, the King of Cups in reverse. It is not ready. It is asking you to um, King of Pentacles in reverse. The very, sorry, upright position. Oh, sorry. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit Garden. It is asking you to put more time to yourself to heal, to put more time for other person to breathe, to heal. Because um, I see that there is still conflict with this relationship or with this with this specific person. I see an energy um, for the first two weeks of November to reach out to call someone, to text someone, to have a conversation, it would just end up with non-committal. It will end up with, um, if you force things and it is still raw, the pain, the hurt, the drama, it would just end up with no outcome or not being li liable or no one would take accountability of the issues, okay? Um, the first two weeks of November, I really feel like when it comes to relationship with friends or family, colleagues, or love relationship, it's not fully healed. It's not ready. Don't force it because if you try to reach out or they try to reach out and you try to to come up to come up with a goal or with a plan to solve it, um, I don't think it is ready. It's needing more time. The Hermit card. You and your person or the situation, when it comes to relationship, it is asking you to contemplate, to spend more time, to heal, to forgive, to forget. Okay? It's really cool off. I'm really getting that. And um, you've got here the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So by the last two weeks of November for you, Capricorn, you felt like this love situation this love situation this relationship issue um you you fear that you might lose this person's trust or you might lose this friendship this colleague this work relationship this love interest there's a feeling that if you won't take take action at the end of the month you feel like you would lost it um this energy is telling you it, it is not your person, nine of pentacles in reverse, your person, your love interest, your friend, your family, who, whoever is involved or highlighting your relationship in November month, it is saying that don't worry about it. You haven't totally lost this person's interest with you. It's just that it's not ready and it will have its own time to heal. Okay. So, cause if you worry, um, you might, do an action that you might regret you know you might force and steer or trigger conversation to get an outcome that wouldn't work you would just again have the same outcome because it's not ready so don't be scared give as much space and time to this person to this situation because the more you give time like the hermit the more you learn and so they are and the more um, the more it, it drives you or the energy goes to the right timing. And I feel like for some of you, this is pretty much ready by the December time or the festive season. You know, normally December time, it's festive season, Christmas, New Year. People are more cheerful, kind and forgiving. So I see that situation, love situation, relationship would heal itself during that time, November, end of November going to December month. Okay. So, yes. So, this is your reading. A lot of indecision making. There's some stuff that you cannot force or control. And your, your decision making and your action towards love, romantic, friendship, uh, family relationship. Um, it will heal itself. It will, you know, it will come to its natural course to, to talk around December time. And when it comes to general opportunity, career, uh, finances, project, hobby, um, you really have to, you know, weigh your options, which one will give you a less stressful transaction, okay? So this is you. This is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you liked the reading. If you do, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.